Mm. Uh, now, when you wander through your local supermarket, you likely see shelves lined up with products boasting about the benefits of probiotics. But what exactly are they? Yeah. And why are they suddenly popping up in everything from yoghurt to drinks? Well, we're joined now by Dr Sarah to shed some light on this situation. Hi, Sarah. Hey, hi. Morning. Good Morning. to see you. So, oh, look. Probiotics. Yeah, they are these uh, live bacteria and yeasts that we take in either through foods or through supplements that are claimed to help balance our natural gut bacteria. You might have heard of them being called the friendly bacteria or the good bacteria. Um, and they tend to um, contain the bacteria strains, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Um, but they can have other things as well. So before we knew what we were missing, how did we get this in our diet? So we've been eating um, fermented foods for centuries. Yeah. And it's, it's in fermented foods originally that they, they came about. So things like um, kefir and yogurts, um, miso, which is a Japanese type of um, condiment made out of fermented soybeans. Yes, yeah, soup, right? Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, miso, exactly. Um, you can get it in fermented sauerkraut. Oh, um, so if you pickle vegetables, you'd get it. Yeah, you? exactly, if you ferment them, yeah. Um, so. If you get it in normal yoghurt, just any everyday yoghurt would have it? Um, if it says live on it, then yes, a live yoghurt means that it's got these bacteria yeah. in them. But if it's just um, a not live one, a standard one, then no. So why, why do we need Why them? do we need, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 well, look, um, we need uh, the, the healthy balance of gut bacteria, firstly, because it aids the digestion of food, mm -hmm. um, which means that, you know, we're getting the right nutrients from our foods. Um, we know that it can help, a good gut can help support our immune system. Um, it helps with our gut-brain axis, which essentially means that our brain and our stomach is, uh, uh, and our gut are communicating. It's all linked, isn't it's it? It's all linked together, so for a healthy cognition, brain function and mood. Um, but nowadays, unfortunately, we've got a lot of life lifestyle issues that are uh, inhibiting how well we are, are managing our gut. So things like our diet with ultra processed foods, antibiotic use, uh, infections, illnesses, um, stress, even certain medications that we take that can, that can affect it. So how much research and scientific evidence is there to back this up? Look, there are various claims out there. Some of them have more science to them than others. We know that, for example, um, we can use probiotics to help man manage um, travellers' diarrhoea, to try and prevent travellers' diarrhoea. And there are several, several studies showing a modest benefit there. We know that it, we can use them when, if you're taking antibiotics, to try and help rebalance our, um, our, our good bacteria within our guts. Um, there's also evidence to show that it can be used in patients with IBS and that it may help with um, managing the pain symptoms associated with IBS. So... Let's go through how people can get it into their diet. So you, what have you got here? OK, so we've got kefir here, which is essentially um, a thinned down yoghurt that's um, fermented, that's um, mixed with a fermented grain is called nice? kefir. I think it tastes like yoghurt. Yeah. So um, you've got a drink version of it over there. Yeah, um, this one. So there's oh, that one and actually the yoghurt one next to it here. Oh, oh this right, one this one. This one here is a, another version of a kefir. Oh, it's cherry flavour. Yeah. Oh, um, and. Flavor. I think they're quite tasty to us. They're very right. easy to, to drink Delicious. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these ones are just the simple um, yoghurt, uh, live yoghurts. So is this the same thing? Oh, I love so these So live yoghurts are different to kefir because kefir has the grains in it. It's a fermented grain, whereas this is a yoghurt that has got um, bacteria added in with it. Yeah. Um, and then we've already mentioned the miso, but then you can also take things like... Um, Supplements. Do you need supplements? Absolutely not. If you are happy to consume all of these types of things in your diet in a daily uh, way, then you don't need them. But and it, and is this stuff that, you know, we've spoken so many times about this, that you can get a lot of stuff in your natural diet anyway? Yeah. Or, or does it specifically exist in, in these kind of... You know, live yogurts. Yeah, it, it needs to be in fermented foods and, and live foods. So it, you won't, you know, naturally get it, yep. it unless you're specifically adding these types of foods into your diet. But they're easy enough to add in. Um, but I would say if, for example, you're da dairy intolerant and you're unable to have the kefir or the, the yogurt, or you don't particularly like <laughs> these foods, Love then it. you can go well, ahead and get... I can't get, get enough of it, but that looks, it's all great. <laughs> I can't believe we've, vi we've finished this item already. She gets through all the great stuff. She's all killer, no filler, this one. She's fantastic. I have more to say. <laughs> no, <laughs> when we come back, your local weather for